Hey, welcome everybody to uh, Dreamers podcast slash video slash live stream. It's like to sleep Dreamers content. That's what we call it at this point. Uh, I'm your host, Super Joe Pardo. And uh, if you haven't been watching on YouTube lately, I've been doing a lot of uh, videos that are, you know, really not live streamed. They're uh, produced and all that. And it's been a lot of fun. But I, I wanted to jump in here and, and do a uh a, a somewhat quick video uh highlighting the the person who was kind enough to open up her heart and and that is a, a pun intended open up her business open up her house her home uh to me to help her uh with her business back in uh back now back in 2019 uh, and she allowed us to, to come and film the first ever episode of, uh, of the top, which you have, if you haven't watched the first episode, go to uh, superjoeparter.com slash TV. You can watch the first episode, uh, where we helped, uh, my guest tonight, uh, take, you know, to help take her business to the top and she's one step closer, uh, to doing so. So I, I wanted to get like a, a, a t- you know, update, a testimonial update, that kind of stuff. So if you could, uh, give me, I see some people are watching here on the live stream and, uh, I, I appreciate all of you. If you could, uh, give me a hand in wel- uh, welcoming our guest, Sandra Henry. Woo! Welcome. <laughs> so for anyone who doesn't know you can go and check out her store at www.heartfeltkeepsakes4 that's the number four you that's the letter u dot com and uh go check out all of the awesome crafts and things that she has to offer in her etsy store sandra how are you feeling tonight i'm doing pretty good actually the, yeah, you know, just good. What's good? This is good. Exactly. I'm off to a good start this year. So, and I ended the year last year doing better than I thought I would. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, that is great to hear. I, um, you know, so I, I mean, a lot's happened. I mean, when we filmed, it was back in Ju- June, March, I think. May, it was. March, March, no, April. It, was, it, was, it wasn't back. It wasn't cold outside. It was spring because my tree out front was blooming. Was blooming, but so I, I think blooming. it was probably closer to like April or May because it was, was warmish outside. If true, not, true. We it wasn't hot. Yeah, we might have started talking in March and uh, ah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. In April, but it was it was warm enough. Um, when you did come and, and everything. So I think it was April. I believe, I think, I think, I think it was April. I think um, it was. Cause like I said, my tree out front is, it was blooming. <laughs> <laughs> that That's awesome. That, uh, you know, so it's been, it's been, a you know, not a year yet, but we're, we're rapidly getting closer to a year, but you just closed out, uh, your, your best year ever, uh, for okay. your business. So why don't you, why don't you talk a little bit, uh, about what the best year ever in your business means? <laughs> Cause that's, you know, it's relative, right? Or, you know, subjective and relative all at the same time. It definitely is. So my best year ever was basically getting through the entire year without, um, having one of my, little dips in um, motivation and being able to just keep going like you when um, when you came and everything it was you know I I still had my struggles where I'd go like weeks where it it was just like oh I just can't do this but um, speaking with you and then and the after um, things that I got to do you know like the training that you gave me and and the the ideas that you gave me and the tips, um, they really helped me through the year. And, and I didn't do as much of, um, the email marketing, which I know I need to do. And that's on my main to do list, uh, for this year, my website that you had helped me start up and my son was helping me as well. A little bit kind of got put on hold because some other, um, things took precedence. Um, but that is actually how I started out my year. I did find someone yesterday that I officially, um, hired or, um, 
through Fiverr or Fiverr, uh, however you want to call Fiverr. it. I haven't heard to call it Fiverr yet. Um, um, well, I call Fiverr. it Fiverr. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyway, I found someone through there who was going to help me finally finish my website. So by the end of this year, I will have my fundraising up and running. So I'm excited about that. Um, but that's this year. So last year, best year ever was basically getting through the year without just stopping for weeks on end. I got a lot more items listed. Um, I had a couple new ornaments that I added this past year, which were ended up being more popular than I thought. And my one of my goals last year was to double what I made the year previous. And I am I came so very close to that, which is just an amazing feeling. And um, so yeah. So it's just, it's nice. It's it's a great feeling and it's a great way to start this year because um, in my Christmas season, I basically doubled. So that's was, awesome. Yeah, I was going a little crazy. Had um, you know many many late nights because I'd be working during the day. I'd go go to work in the morning, stay there until you know close uh, the end of end of my shift, and then come home and then take care of my kids, cook dinner. Actually, we ate. We had takeout a lot the last the yeah. weeks of my season, and um, but I'd be working on my orders right, basically, like seven eight hours after working. So it was long days, long long days. <laughs> that will ultimately <laughs> pay off in the long run. Now, how how did the garage? How's the garage been? Oh, the garage has been wonderful. It has not gotten cluttered up again. So glad so, to hear that. <laughs> yes, the garage is, uh, and it has come in handy because I had to get, uh, I have some new tools <laughs> as well. Um, so I have, I can use my workbench. I had a couple of orders um, for my word blocks that for Christmas, and I had, I didn't have anything prepared because I was like, all right, we'll wait and see how it goes. Now I know for next year get some prepared, but, um, you know, it was nice to be able to go out in my garage and cut the wood instead of doing it in my kitchen or my dining room, um, and then have all the wood shavings all over the place. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I've added a drill press now to my collection because I make candle holders. Oh, um, awesome. He, he like candle holders. So that was, that was one of my, um, my biggest sellers this, uh, this Christmas as well. And uh, I love them. And my kids and I actually made some for their teachers this year for, or last year for, for their little holiday gifts, which Aww. was wonderful that they loved them. I was, wasn't sure if the teachers would share personal pictures because I had to make the request to please email me pictures, but, um, but they all did even my seventh grade uh, sons, my seventh graders, teachers, all sent me pictures and the kids helped me drill the holes for their, you know, their, their um, things. And they helped me make them. And it was, it was great. It was a wonderful time for my kids and me and um, nice little keepsake gifts and personalized for the, you know, for the teachers. So that was, oh, uh, I love that. Yeah. A nice little highlight of my, Busyness. <laughs> so, um, when it comes to your, you know, so you, you've taken the business obviously a lot more seriously, and uh, and all that, and and you know the 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 dividends paying of doubling uh, your revenue for for 2019 over 2018 is awesome. Is do you feel that it's enough to keep you motivated to to? I don't know if you'll be able to, you know, necessarily double next year, but, but to try to be doubling it for next year. I have made it my goal to try to double it next year. And awesome. I, I really think I can do it because, um, I do have some other items that I'm working on. Um, I have a lot of other invitations I'm going to be adding. Uh, and I'm not saying I hope to be adding because I will be adding them. Well, you have and, a lot created. You like you. I remember you telling me after the show or before the show uh, yeah. that you're like, I have all these invitations created. I just haven't had a chance to post them and promote exactly. them. Exactly. And and after the show, I actually did get probably about ten of them added uh, added to my shop. The problem that I'm finding with myself is picking which one I want to work on, and then. Mm instead of just listing it, I actually work on it a little bit to improve it because I've, mm. I've grown since I started the shop. And some of these I created, 
you know, when I first opened or, you know, and, and so I've gotten better, I've improved. And I, you know, my son's actually teaching me, my seventh grader is actually teaching me some things. He's in a digital photography class this year. So he's been teaching me some, some things about Photoshop that I didn't know. So, um, so it's, it's pretty cool. And, you know, it's, it's, I, so I'm going to get a lot more of my, those invitations are still sitting there, um, on there. And I have t-shirts that I'm working on. So that I have, um, a drop shipping company, a very wonderful one that is going to be printing them for me because I don't have the space or the equipment mm -hmm. myself. Um, but I, I have a lot lined up and this, my other website should be live and active, um, hopefully in a couple of months. So then I can mm -hmm. start reaching out to schools and organizations to set up some fundraising events for maybe for the fall or in the, even in the summertime. Um, and, you know, so I think that will also help contribute. Um, I've gotten some awesome <laughs> reviews. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I see that. That is, that so, is awesome. Yeah. That and it's funny awesome. because I still, I'm still very, um, I'm still working on getting completely out of my comfort zone and, and, you know, the confidence and everything. So whenever I'd get my little notice, my notification saying so and so left you a a review. I'm like, oh my god, what's it going to be? And I get, <laughs> but then it's always, you know, it, it's it's always five stars and and just these beautiful, wonderful comments that just um, they're very touching. It makes it makes me feel really good. So makes me want to keep going. Oh, I, absolutely. <laughs> I I don't blame. I mean, that's the that's the things that we you know live for is that positive reinforcement to the things that we love to create. Exactly. And uh, I'm glad that you're you're receiving that. So yeah, so I I am so proud of you. So proud of the fact that you you you've taken the initiative and uh, and while you haven't been able to implement everything mm -hmm. yet, you recognize the need to and have yeah. had success in the in lieu of not even getting the full percent. You know uh the full feedback and implemented yet and that's i mean it's a process right like this isn't your full-time gig so no. it's not <laughs> going to happen overnight uh and and yet you have found a way to stay motivated and stay in it uh to a level of of being able to double your revenue that is phenomenal yep it's uh it's been wonderful, and it's. I, I actually can say that I am proud of myself and all that I've accomplished. And um, you know, being on your show actually did help me um, with my mindset a little bit because it's like this total stranger who has this business background and everything was, you know, kind of. It was almost like you believed in me as well, even though you didn't fully know me and fully know everything. It was still. It was like you know, I, I, I can do this. And it was, you know, it was nice. And you've always kind of been there if I ever had like a quick uh, question absolutely. Um, to answer and, and everything, or you point me in the right direction of where to go. <laughs> so, <laughs> but it's been, uh, it's been good. It was a good year in 2019. And I, I had my calendar, which was, I think one of the things that you had mentioned back mm -hmm. in the show to help organize me and prioritize myself. Mm -hmm. And um, I had my little hearts every day uh, and every day I, I tried to put in at least 15, 20 minutes of work on my shop, <laughs> um, on my business. And I would fill in that little heart and it helped because that now I, I, at the end of the year, I actually looked back in the months and there was one month that I didn't get to work on it as much as I wanted to. And it was actually disappointing to look at. I'm like, no, I missed so many <laughs> hearts. I could have, you know, and, and, um, so I'm doing that again this year. I have a, a new calendar and I've already started. And, um, so it's, it's very motivational. Like it's this little, as stupid as it may sound, it's this little physical reminder and this physical, you know, you're doing it. And, um, so, and, and it's nice to look back and say, okay, and I can even look back and say, all right, I screwed up here. I didn't work as much. What happened? And then I can kind of um, move forward from there and say, okay, this is what I need to do differently. And so 
Yeah, <laughs> I love the I love the 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 um, completionist aspect of of it that you're uh, enabling yourself to have to have that fulfilling because you know a lot of times we find ourselves like treadmilling on zero like even though you might work <laughs> five minutes or ten minutes or zero minutes you always feel like it's not enough and you're you might as well just work zero and that's not that's not the feeling that you should have if you're trying yeah. to stay motivated and find that next you know that next small win whether it's a a, a product getting up online or a review coming you know positive reinforcement right. uh a, you know another sale whatever it is like you just need that little extra to, to, to stay motivated and, and to remind yourself to say hey like there's a reason i'm doing all this and it's and it and it I, like yeah big picture of course there is but <laughs> there's got to be like small like right in front of you those little carrots help uh immensely get you to the big steps you're looking to accomplish exactly and that's you know every little step matters so even five minutes is better than nothing you know it might yeah. feel like nothing but it's five minutes and and you know, and I found for myself, if I, if, if I do even like 10 minutes and I get into it, then it usually ends up extending and I, I end up working on it more. But my main goal is to at least do, you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes. That way it's not overwhelming because life can be overwhelming. And it's especially, you know, well, right now there's no sports, but spring and fall, I have two kids in two different sports. <laughs> actually in two different towns, you know, <laughs> and they overlap and they're, in, you know, in two different direct and it's, it's craziness. And then, you know, running from work, my full, you know, my full-time job to home and having to feed them in between, like right before we go, like it, it gets crazy. So just, you know, feeling good about doing just 10 minutes is, is enough, you know, and that way I feel like I accomplished my goal and, and I am once one little tiny step closer. So, yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Um, so, has your has your uh, you know your your dream or your goal changed at all since you were you were on the show back in back in April? <laughs> um, no, not really. I think in, in if anything, it's gotten stronger. Um, I still want to keep keep doing this. Um, even if I just adjust what I do, like I had, um, change purses that I was making for the longest time. And in the, in the fall, right before the Christmas season, I was like, you know what, these are not bringing me as much joy to make them. I still like making them every once in a while. And if, if a customer, like I have a customer who actually comes back to me every once in a while, probably a couple of times a year wanting them. And she came back and at Christmas time, she's like, wait a second, you don't make them. And and so I told her, I said, I do, but I, you know, just special request it from me and then I'll, and then I'll make it. But, you know, I figure I'd take it off for a little bit and then re-add it once I, you know, need, I needed a little break from it. So that's yeah, nice yeah. to have that that freedom to be able to do that but it's also I, nice that somebody would reach out because they like them that much so exactly but that doesn't necessarily mean that you should dedicate a bunch of time to something that you're not crazy about at the time especially right. if it's more than like the um, you know more of amount of time than you want to be spending on one thing right and you know it's it's one of those things i do put a lot of love into everything that i make even when i'm making like 70 at the same time, <laughs> you know, I still, I put the same amount of attention and love into every single one. And, you know, I just wasn't feeling it anymore at that time for those, you know, one or two. Okay. But, you know, I didn't want to get bombarded with them and then I'll be like, Oh, I don't want to do these anymore. <laughs> so, um, but I still, I still want to do this full time. I still, um, I still want to get the fundraising up. I think that I think that's one of my biggest goals. Mm -hmm. um, I, I actually have a few specific themes I want to do with some of my items, like my my candle holders, which are good for basically anyone. Um, I was talking to a friend, my best friend actually, who just bought a home. And I want to make, and I work with realtors, <laughs> so that's also gonna work. Mm -hmm. I want to make a like a, a um like a listing specifically for a first time home buyer or home one. And then 
um, donate some money towards uh, Habitat for Humanities, I think is what I'm leaning towards. So I haven't 100% decided, but I think that's that's what I'd like to do. So when they purchase that specific one with, you know, a new home or whatever theme, it has to have, have a theme of, of a house and a home and <laughs> um, then that'll be. So I have a couple of themes I want to do like that and just I'll pick something. So because that's been one of the most important things that I've wanted to do is is do fundraising and, and just give back. So yeah, I'm excited about that. Absolutely. So before we wrap up here, Sandra, is there any well, last thoughts you'd like to give uh, any advice you, you'd have, uh, you know, for people wanting to go in and, and be on the show and uh, or anything, anything like that, anything you want you <laughs> to, you got the floor. I, um, I would just say, you know, just take those little steps and every little step matters. Even if it seems like it's not a big one, it'll, it'll get you one step closer to your goals. Step out of your comfort zone. Like I'm, I've done last year and I'm doing it this year. I, and, um, it's, you know, it's all worth it. It, every, it brings me so much joy to do what I do for my shop and my business. And, um, even the stuff that I'm not, I don't love doing for it. I still, I still enjoy doing that. And, um, there's, there's actually, um, there's a video that of Oprah <laughs> that I actually watched earlier and she was saying about the difference, you know, between a job and a career or a job and a passion. And it was, you know, if you can do it, if you can picture yourself doing it and not need to get paid for it, or it was something to that effect, then, you know, that's when you found your passion. And, I, you know, I would, I would do this for free if I, if I could, but I, you know, obviously <laughs> I can't. <laughs> But it just it's relaxing to me. And and I think anybody who takes a chance to be on your show and get those little steps to get them started or to move them to the next level, you know, there I needed a lot of like mo inner motivation myself as well. Like, you know, I can't just you don't kind of you don't really push me along the whole the whole time, but you kind of give me that you gave me that jumps like that jump start to get me. Mm -hmm to launch me forward. And, um, I was able to continue it on and, and, you know, I've done a ton of little tiny steps and that's, that's all it takes. And if you, you know, just, I don't know, take that first step. I guess that's my main, <laughs> my main <laughs> message. Take that first step and don't give up. Just don't give up. Uh, worth it. Well, well thank <laughs> and you. Was like I... a jumble of words and I apologize. <laughs> it's all it's all good it's all good uh, you know i i uh and and uh, you know i want to take this time to thank you for all the the books and the and the toys and everything that we got uh <laughs> they have the, the kids have absolutely loved it. i just sent you a, a picture the other night of the kids enjoying one of the other books right. that we un what we uncovered from all the you know all the massive amount of things uh that they already have and um so they're definitely enjoying them so thank you good you're very very welcome yeah. And I love getting those pictures because that book reminded me that was one of my kids' favorite books. Aww. And we read, we read it so many times. And um, so it, it, it brings a smile to my face knowing that they're being used um, and loved Aww. by other people. Oh, so. <laughs> absolutely. Well, I will continue to uh, to send you those pictures. Sounds good. Um, well, thank you, thank you so much, Sandra, for for coming uh, on here tonight and and having uh, a, a good talk about your your year in review and um, hopefully encouraging some more people to uh, to reach out and and want to be on on the top. Uh, I am back to looking to getting uh, a few more businesses to to film with. Uh, so if you're if you're interested in in helping take your business to the top, uh, reach out to me, Joe at superjoepar.com. Uh, and, and just let me, you know, uh, actually, I think if you go, I might've, oh, I might've even taken it down. <laughs> let me say, if you go to superjoeparter.com slash, uh, TV, there is a link here, uh, apply here. Um, you know what? I, uh, I don't know if I have the link anymore. Um, cause it's, I might've 
yeah, I think I might have taken it down in preparation. Uh, oh, TV casting. Oh, so there you go. It's superjoeparo.com slash casting. And if you go there, uh, you can check out the first episode, watch the promo video, and apply. So Super Joe, it had been a little while since I had uh, <laughs> tried to try to work on getting people to to come and be on the show. But superjoeparo.com slash casting. Um, you know, and and even this, like, you know, this isn't uh, the, you know, a, a race to the to the finish line for me either. And uh, I had to take a break for anyone who doesn't know. I had to take a break uh, because we were coming up on my annual podcasting conference that we had in uh, in in Atlantic City this year or well, last year at this point, <laughs> 2019. And uh, I, you know, I was like, I, I this is taking up way too much of my time. I need to focus on on getting ready for the conference. So I did that. And you know, now I'm uh, pretty much 100% in on the conference, but I'm still making uh, weekly videos. Uh, hopefully, I'd like to do a little more uh, regular than that. But uh, if you go to superjoepower.com slash casting, you fill it out, answer the questions. Uh, we'll have our, our interview uh, like I did with Sandra over here. And <laughs> uh, we, we'll get a date and we'll we'll figure out how to make it work and we'll get it. We'll get it filmed. Um, so I, I, I'm, I'm absolutely all in to, to shoot some more, um, and it, you know, whether or not it's going to eventually get to a TV network, I got to have a lot more episodes before I can do that. That takes a lot more time. I don't have a production crew standing behind me. I, it's mostly me. So, um, I'm, and I'm okay with that. So, uh, so, but I, I would absolutely love to get some more episodes, uh, in the can and get them up on YouTube and start helping some more business owners in the process. So. Uh, if you'd like to be that person, if you'd like that your business to to come and and be a uh, an example of of growth, uh, go to superjoeparo.com slash casting. Uh, again, Sandra, thank you so much for taking the time. Thank you so much for uh, opening your house and and everything to us uh, or to me. I, I, I <laughs> greatly appreciate it, and um, I I hope that 2020 is as good as you hoped and planned it to be uh and please if you ever need anything don't don't hesitate to, to send, shoot me a message thank you so much joe and it really the application process is super easy and it's so worth so worth the five minutes that it would take um a business owner to fill it out and to um to reach out and it's you know even if you get one great tip or one you know little tip out of it that you that send you forward that's all you need is that one that one little tip one little step and it's yeah okay. I, I i agree if nothing else the motivation to uh to to like hey i need i need to do more and i need to do better and i need to i need to do it exactly. um so all right well thank you again and i hope you all uh had a great happy new year i probably should have said that at the beginning of this uh this <laughs> video but either way it won't matter because in like a year from now or whatever it won't be it won't be the well a year from now would still be it'd be another new year but anyway i hope 2020 is great for, for all of you and i will see you all next week with another video